just about it. Oh no, now. True that now. This sound not easy. Go on now. I mean, na na na, all the belly don't cry. Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Girl Babsy. I'm back from workation. Yeah, I'm the only motherfucker that travels to work. So I've been a few places and now that I'm back, I had to do this video because it's a rant. So people are going to be upset and they're going to be carrying on like they ain't going to fucking sense. I'm going to be cursing. So if you don't like cursing, don't watch this. Um, those of you who want to see my trip and how things went when I was in Philly and New York and Barbados and Grenada, check my reality channel. The link will probably be down low and uh, you're going to get to see the fets and the dance and the frolic up and all them thing there. So anyhow, before I left for my trip, I had to do this video, but I didn't do it because I didn't have all the facts yet. So I said, let me come back and do it. Um, there's a lot of bacchanalary going on with the Jamaican entertainers. So when I say entertainers, I'm talking about, you know, media personnel, bloggers, blog sites, radio personnel, artists, DJs, all that sort of thing. They all frolicking up and having some problems over some bullshit, might I add. So I've come to be the voice of reason as a West Indian motherfucking governor. And I need to let you guys know what the fuck is going on. So people are going to be upset about this because they're going to figure that I am a Canadian and I have no right to talk about dancehall because dancehall are Jamaican. So I'm just going to let you know from now, like, um, suck salt, get high blood pressure and die, please. Or skydive in somebody's body, preferably your father's. Next thing. This is going to be a topic where I'm going to be talking about a few people that you might like. So if you are not able to handle the motherfucking truth, don't watch this video, okay? Good. So before I left... Back and all going on, shit slinging, shit slinging, shit slinging. People sending me videos every single day. I'm like, what the fuck is going on with these guys? Anyhow, didn't know what was going on at the point in time, so I was kind of like, yo, you know me. And and let me put a disclaimer in, and I don't mean this to be rude, but I don't really mix up, mix up and frolic up with people in the entertainment industry, because a lot of them full of shit. And if I got a spin kick one of them, they ain't going to use the trachea for singing no more. <laughs> so... What seemed to have started this whole thing was Mataran was in Toronto, big up 416, that's where I live, yeah, I live in Canada, and he took a picture with two women that people were saying are supposedly Batiman, um, you're bored if you thought they were Batiman because they're obviously women, but anyhow, idle minds do idle bullshit, so blogs so I started to talk about him posing with Batiman and blah blah, and it just escalated into this big whole fucking mess, which is why I'm here to clean it up so I could save that all, because somebody needs to fucking save it. So, everyone starts picking on Matron. Now, I understand Matron's point of view when it comes to defending himself because I am similar to him in that nature, whereas I know some of you in real life, you know some of me, some of you know me in real life, and you know that you ain't gonna say shit to me when you see me because I'm on a video that might be this big for you right now, but when you see my six foot black belted ass and I spin kick you in your fucking neck, it's a different story. So. I get annoyed when I see people who I know for a fact would never talk to me in person getting up on social media and running off their mouth because I'm like, bitch, you know you ain't about this shit. I will come to your house and even spit slap your daddy. So, Mataron is kind of like that and if you talk about him, he's going to pelt back a fucking bulldozer from the little small rock you throw at him. So, it was a lot of that going on, right? And, um, you know... Um, while I was in Grenada, Bounty Killer ended up going on TV on, on stage with Winfred Williams and I was like, oh God, here comes Bounty, the savior, the five-star general. Now before I curse Bounty Killer, cause he gonna get cursed in this motherfucking rant too, I was like, Bounty Killer's my artist, I love him, I have every song from Bounty that's been released, unreleased, spliced, not spliced, remixed. Bounce Killer is my artist along with Nitty Gritty and Lil Rick, so I'm showing you how unbiased I really am because Bounty Killer went on the people fucking television and talked a bunch of shit. So when Winford said to Bounty, hey, Bounty, you know, um, huh, what do you think about the whole Mataran situation and Mataran and the Batiman and blah, 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 Bounty was like, oh, we are Jamaican and we purge this against Batiman. That is us. That's what we do. And I'm like, is this motherfucker for real? You went on a fucking nationally syndicated television show and talk about Jamaicans hate a fucking whole entire group of people. You cannot be this go cuntish. I mean, I, I don't know what to say. I'm going to tell you something that you might not know. This is Babsiology 101, and I'm going to talk to many of you who think you're going to make it in the entertainment industry, who are struggling, who want to get out there, who want to get... Listen to me closely and understand how not to fuck up, because that is a fuck up. That is what you call fucking up. Let me steer you back. That's why I have to big up Mataran, because in his interview, he steered it back. If you're an 
entertainers such as myself. There are men that come to take picture with me with no teeth, that have two fingers, that belly touch in their kneecap. I can't be like, oh, you're, I, I don't want to take a picture with you because that's the motherfucker that gonna share my video. That's the motherfucker that gonna rep for me. That's the motherfucker that gonna donate money to Dominica's fucking aid relief. If you are in entertainment, your fans are important. You cannot go around sending out blanket statements of hatred, especially for a group of people. You don't want to be going around talking about Jamaicans hate anyone. You want to know why? Because you might have traveled bounty. You might have been to America a million times. Yes, say I had Gwen Stefani. But there are people like Innovata and Devin the Doctor who would like to see what America's like, perform on a stage elsewhere, and make some money to sustain their family. Because I'm going to tell you guys right now, if you're not getting American visa, Visas, you're not making money. Everywhere else is secondary to the land they call United States of America. That is where the motherfucking money is at. That's where motherfuckers get paid. That's where motherfuckers get laid. If you think going to Guyana where one US dollar is $203.75 Guyanese is going to sustain you financially, you is a gold kind. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Um, what you need to do is shut the fuck up. People are entitled to do whatever the fuck they want to do. If man want to stick their dick in the next man's ass, that is not of your concern. Your concern is your career, your own home. And a lot of you fucking entertainers that piss me off, don't let me start talk, that got a woman locked up in house in Oakland. <clears throat> let me don't go there. Have the nerve to be talking about other people and what choices they make with their life when you doing bear cut, disrespecting women, treating women like shit. Me and enough of these dancehall entertainers that got it ding fucking down. Cause when they be talking to me, they be like, hey y'all, I be like, hey y'all, you're so mother. Don't call me no fucking y'all. Cause you don't take in half as much money as I take in from blogging. Fall to fuck back. When I see people like Gully Bop, who was in the gully last year this time, making videos, Matarana Bati Mana, shut your ass so mouth. You don't have no billboard hit yet, Gully Bob. Go and fucking get one. Got the 15 seconds of fame, the clock eight. I don't hear the ticking loud. You guys are looking like fucking clowns in this industry, all of you. You're not bloggers. Put down the fucking video and leave the blogging to me. I is the number one blogger in the Caribbean. The people give me that title. When you all get on fucking television and videos, you were supposed to talk about what you plan to do with your music, how you want people to follow you on Instagram, and the positive things you are doing. You don't go and talk about hating people. You think Jamaica needs you, bounty killer, to go and talk about who Jamaicans hate? They trying to travel and get around the world. They don't need you talking about how much they hate a particular group of people. Because if you didn't realize this, there's a lot of people that hate Jamaicans as well. You ain't going to get positive outcomes if you're leveraging negative intentions. So I would suggest y'all put this hatred aside and stop talking about who you hate and who you want to kill. Because when you're going to the people countries, they finger fucking you, they're raping you, they're sending you back, and they're doing a whole bunch of things to a lot of you. And what hurts me the most is that the Jamaicans that I grew up around are very respectable people. All the Jamaican people that I know, that I grew up around, they're not burning their pussy with fire in a dance hall. <laughs> They have jobs that they've had for the last 30 years. They have children that are going to big top schools. They own their home. They have land. They are rep reputable people in society. They pay their taxes. But you guys want to get up and constantly showcase this fucking retardation of a nation. And look, you see world championships happen just now. And you see class acts like you saying both in that. Leverage that and go forward with positive things. Stop talking about who you hate. Because the Bati man them are going to stifle your fucking voice. If you don't know this, let me tell you, they have more power than black people. Black people are the end of the fucking totem pole. They say who the dog like, he does lick. Well, the dog don't like us, them does bite we. So if you don't learn to shut your ass whole mouth with your ignorant spewing, you're going to have fucking problems for life. And the amount of Jamaicans that want to come and visit their family in America that can't get no visa, shut your ass whole mouth and keep your hatred to your fucking self. Because these body man and bullers, they gon' still stick their dick in so and so ass and ain't gonna got nothing to do with you. And you gonna can't stop them. You stopping your fucking self. And let me tell you another thing. I personally ain't gonna rub no pussy against another girl. 
But I'm gonna tell you this, you see the bullers and the fucking gay people that is back me, them to save me. Because when you the suck them dick and fuck them for mixing and mastering money, them just come and tell me. When they got pictures of you sucking the dick in the phone, I got them. So when you wanna come and pelt up big rock at me, I can show the fucking bulldozer on you. Stop this cunt because a lot of you out there bullying same fucking way. I know many of you bullying. I've seen the pictures. So stop it. Hatred cannot create a positive outcome. Jamaica has bigger fish to fry. You got fucking ministers around there talking about I buy my shirt cloth and for five dollars a yard. What am I doing about the 15 year old I guess shooting she fucking head the other day walking to the Russell store? Them gonna do something about that? What are you gonna do about the fucking police officers that molesting and raping off the people 12 and 11 year old children? You gonna do something about that? Use your voice to save you fucking people and stop trying to talk about people that don't care nothing about fucking you. You ain't gonna stop these bullers. They gonna bulldoze you and trample you. And you gonna still be in the fucking gully and the Gaza and you gonna be breakfast cunt and you ain't gonna got the fucking future. Stop it. That's the only advice I got to tell you. Dance hall people, this is another one. This one has hurt my soul because I grew up in the dance hall. I've been in the dance hall from age seven when after hours down the fucking house, street from me, that house used to be putting up and stringing up sound system. How you think I know about nitty gritty and tennis and all these people? You think I now learn about them last week? I know about them rhythms when they was building. I know the men that fucking used to work in them studios and thing from I was seven, I was 36, count the fucking years. And I watch a, a, a genre of music that I used to be so proud of. Rest in peace, Red Dragon, who passed the other day. That used to have all these artists who are class act people, A class people. Now turn around to fucking clownery. Who ain't climbing tower to go talk about they gonna commit suicide for airplay? You suck. Put down the fucking microphone. You cannot do music. Stop the clownery. Then you got motherfuckers like Alkaline. If you feel Alkaline will carry the torch for dancehall, let me be the one to tell you it will not happen. He does not have the grace. He does not have the friggin' personality. He does not have the charisma nor charm to carry the torch for dancehall. He does not have the testicular fortitude to carry it. Beanie Mans and these people, they know how to make you laugh. They know how to friggin' turn a crowd around from booing. But you motherfuckers that are wimps that can't even fucking go on an interview without talking about vibes cartel, you are not carrying the torch for dance hall music. Let me let you know this from now. You are sinking a genre that was all the way up here. You have now thrown it in the ditch. All on your own. Because if you think that Americans want to hear Jamaicans rapping, they don't. Let me tell you, they want to hear Jamaicans doing dance hall. You're not getting the play anymore. When I go to these big events that used to have these big dance hall acts, they're replacing them with soca people. Lil Ricks, Mashells, Bungees, they're getting your food. I'm telling you, they're eating it. So if you want to get dance hall back on the flipping top of the charts, stop your nonsense. Stop fucking clowning around some bullshit. Stand behind your talent if you are talented. If you are not, move out of the fucking way. And make room for the people that are good, Devin the Doctors. These are guys that if you give them the right attention, they're going to be excellent in dance hall. There are a set of them out there I don't fucking know. One come out yesterday now talking about, oh, he got in tattoo and I... You sound like bear cunt. You sound like a lobster boiling that's alive, that dying. You are not for dance hall. Leave that alone. You don't, you're not ready. Sorry, sweetheart. Don't mean to tell you. Auto-tune ain't gonna help you guys when you're alive and you're standing up stiff like a board. If you don't have a waistline and can whine and can make the girl scream for you, leave out this fucking thing. I'm telling you that. Stop the clowning. The other day, Shauna Chin coming with a fucking neck brace and thing. I don't know about Gully Bop coming with a fucking new music video next week. Because you guys are doing so much assholery. I don't know what's legit from what's not legit. Munga dead, Munga not dead. I expect a song from Munga this week because this clownery is what you all fucking now call dance hall. What you need to do is stand behind your talent and believe in yourself. And if you are going to be a dance hall artist, put out music. I don't as on a TV. Oh, cartel, cartel, cartel. Shut the fuck up. If the people think you harder than cartel, then make more music than fucking cartel. Cartel dropping 20 songs a month. I don't know you ain't doing that. So shut your asshole and make music. What happened to y'all picking up videos and, and crying? Blogging is for me. I'm Babsy, I can't sing. 
Let me love, you do the music. You hear what I say? Start having integrity, morals, believe in yourself. Stop disrespecting people. Stop talking to people like me and calling me gal. Cause I know a lot of the other chicks in the industry will skin their pussy and give you. You can't get me to skin nothing to give you. You, I on one show, don't make what I make off one video. Fuck you. Don't get excited and feel that like you hot. You ain't. Not yet. There's some artists, there's a handful of artists that make more money than I make as a blogger. Real talk, let's get real. Handful. The rest of you slumming compared to me. So don't see me and then feel like you can come disrespect people. We make more money than you, boo boo. <laughs> you ain't seen nothing. And as I said, get back your senses, understand what this industry was about. Because if I was Jigsy King, Mega Bantan, Ricky General, I would beat every fucking one of you in the road. One of the lucky that I ain't nitty gritty. I would haunt one of and fucking tell her saw and yo, Dirks man. I would kill one of that want to take this fucking industry and throw it in a ditch so cause you're st stupid and ignorant and dark. Stop watching artists A, B, C, and B and watch your fucking self. What you want to do as an artist? Where do you want to get as an artist? Because you watching him isn't going to stop him. Stop the bitching and complaining, put down the video, go in the studio, build tune, make dance hall, stop trying to sound like fucking hip hop artists, and don't try to be a video blogger. Left that to the champion, Bob Z. Love you guys, I'm gone.